The oceans remain a crucial resource in addressing many of the international challenges that face all of us. From energy production to food security, the Department of Marine Technology at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology is dedicated to finding world-leading solutions through its engineering projects and protection of the marine environment. Our reporter Rory Challens took a trip north to find out more. These two young Norwegian scientists are investigating how we build a carbon neutral future. And the disc on the water could be part of that huge puzzle. OK, let's start the waves. So this here is called a floating solar island. It's a small model of what in the real world would be 50 to 100 metres across. And this demonstration is to see how these floating solar panels behave in irregular sea states. Millions of these could eventually be used to drive a system for recycling the planet's carbon dioxide, powering ocean factories converting CO2 from the sea into methanol fuel. When they burn that fuel, you'll get CO2 up in the air, but the atmosphere and the oceans are in equilibrium over some years, so it will go back into the ocean, the CO2. And then you have a carbon uh, neutral future, you might say, uh, by recycling the CO2. But for this ambitious goal to become a reality, prototypes must be tested. We want this uh, structure to operate in safe conditions, so we, mm. need, to, we need to see uh, what is the limiting sea state. The data that Irvin and Svanil gather will be part of their master's theses at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology. The Marine Technology Institute here at NTNU is, I think, the best in Norway and one of the best in the world. So that was very appealing. Uh, and uh, why I chose to study marine technology specifically uh, was just because it's so exciting. Many of the best minds in the field come from across the world to teach and study here in Trondheim. Yes, in this department we have a long history of research on ships and then on offshore on the gas platforms. And then we have the new opportunities to develop other offshore structures like floating wind turbines, solar panels. So we want to use this competence in developing these new structures. The department's offshore wind research group is doing just this. Professor Zen Gao is one of four faculty members working with 10 PhD candidates and 15 master's students. Together, they use the facilities here to make offshore wind technology cheaper and more efficient. We have advanced laboratories, quite unique laboratory facilities. Uh, and uh, we are increasingly uh, using data and measurements from, uh, from the sea and from full scale, so that we combine uh, theoretical numerical methods, uh, in-house laboratories and uh, full scale measurements. We live in a watery world, says the department's head, and understanding this is crucial to our future. The oceans is a large part of the planet and it, uh, I think it holds uh, a lot of opportunities for solving the big issues that we're struggling with, with respect to uh, the energy and transportation. So uh, if you are going to solve the climate issue, you have to uh, also involve the oceans. NTNU has been gathering knowledge for more than a century, and it intends to use that knowledge for a better world.